be ready 5 seconds excellencies colleagues and friends a very good morning to all of you it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the second development working group meeting in this serene and picturesque village of kumarakom i hope that in the coming days you get a chance to soak in its rich traditional architecture rare flora and fauna splendid house boats and delicious local cuisines it is heartening to see the developmental agenda continuing to take prominence and center stage from the indonesian presidency to ours we all share a grave concern for the impacts of the ongoing multiple crises these cascading crises are setting back progress on development deepening inequalities and accentuating environmental and climate risks they are disproportionately affecting the developing countries as these crises continue to manifest in different forms this year we are experiencing the third weakest pace of global economic growth in nearly 3 decades both emerging and developing countries are facing a multi-year period of slow growth driven by heavy debt burdens and weak investment as global capital is absorbed by advanced economies faced with extremely high government debt levels and rising interest rates weakness in growth and business investment will compound the already devastating reversals in education health poverty and infrastructure and the increasing demands from climate change we have 4 billion people living in climate vulnerable contexts rising inflation geopolitical conflicts and the resulting food and energy insecurity is projected to push millions of people into extreme poverty by the end of this year over 4 trillion dollars is needed each year till 2050 for the world to transition to a low carbon future there exists financing gap for developing countries at the same time there are pressing expectations from developing countries to focus on the twin priorities of accelerating growth and achieving their climate and environmental goals today the world needs a bold vision attuned to the needs and challenges of the 21st century that propels us to embark on a low carbon development path that is more sustainable inclusive and resilient than the past and hence it is my belief that the work of the development working group has never been more timely and critical there is a compelling and urgent need for taking strong measures to support developing countries with the necessary affordable financing technology transfer and capacity building to accelerate progress and it is this objective that has guided us in articulating the contours of the outcomes in the development working group for this year we believe that due to its 
cross-cutting agenda and focus on development issues, the Development Working Group is the heart and soul of India's G20 Presidency. The envisaged vision for green development will take inspiration from all the outcomes that have been proposed as part of this important working group. Today's complex, interconnected crisis have forced us to combine development and crisis response and not be caught in the dilemma of two steps forward and one step back when it comes to each new challenge. We are also firmly of the belief that every crisis situation can be turned into an opportunity for a concerted push towards a sustainable, inclusive and resilient future. Furthermore, we are convinced that accelerating the progress will support our endeavors to combine short-term crisis response with long-term gains. Thus, this year we are proposing to come up with a G20 action plan to accelerate progress on the Sustainable Development Goals. We want to work towards finalizing the G20 high-level principles that will provide the necessary political momentum to the efforts on achieving the 2030 Agenda. It is imperative to ensure coordination and alignment across several policy areas. Central to meeting today's challenges is harnessing the power of digital transformations, green transitions and women-led development and enhancing coordination and partnerships with all stakeholders to accelerate the achievement of SDGs. To this end, the G20 Action Plan will pave the way in propelling accelerated collective actions and galvanizing support for an international enabling environment that is robust, proactive, adaptive and responsive to the short-term and long-term challenges. Similarly, lifestyle for environment will be an engine of growth for all countries, focusing on the interlinkages between the development agenda and environment including the climate agenda. Life will be a pro-people and a pro-planet approach that will promote the evolution of a new pro-growth development paradigm which aims at bringing sustainability through multi-stakeholder collaborations. Additionally, we foresee leveraging data for development as a vital means to generate actionable intelligence towards delivery of public services. G20 high-level principles on data for development will be the guiding light for G20 countries to harness imperfect, complex, often unstructured data into actionable information for development purposes. A key component of harnessing data is the requirement of capacity, not only in terms of data-related infrastructure and data-gathering tools, but also in terms of human capacity and data analytics.